Hello everyone, Triple N I here and today I would like to show you this circuit which is something I built two days back. I figured out that I had a long weekend ahead, may as well do something. This is something that many people might find extremely useful if they could get their hands on one. This thing is a very simple meter that measures the inductance of an unknown inductor and all you need to make this is a triple phi timer and an LM393 ultra fast comparator. The working principle of this circuit is quite simple. You might have already figured it out by this large one microfarad film capacitor. This is the circuit diagram. As you can see a triple five in a stable mode as usual. A 100k resistor and a 1k resistor, 104 capacitor, a diode, 100 ohm resistor and the comparator. Now what this triple five does is it generates a square wave with a very high duty cycle like this 98% at around 150 hertz and it outputs that through this diode and 100 ohm resistor into an LC tank circuit which is completed by your device under test. Now that LC tank oscillates like this and the comparator turns that oscillation into a square wave with a 50% duty cycle because the negative reference is at zero and the positive is at the oscillation point. So it's something like this. Very primitive but it works. Also a pull up resistor since this is an open collector output. Everything is powered off 5 volts. Now the way I've built this circuit is very similar to some of my other ones. I have three pins. This one is ground, this one is VCC and this one is the output to be connected up to the oscilloscope which will measure the frequency. And once we get the frequency we put it through this formula which will give us the inductance. I've already tried a lot as you can see. So yes, this can be made quite small. And the only disadvantage is it doesn't directly give you the inductance value. You need an oscilloscope or a frequency counter and a simple calculator. I could have done this using one of these which is an Arduino Pro Mini but I figure out that many people might not really have the programming expertise to build something like this. You know involving all these displays and such. So now I'm going to demonstrate the circuit using this unknown random power inductor which I found in my lab. So let's connect it up. So as you can see I've got this circuit connected up right now to my power supply which I still haven't fixed completely. It's on the 5 volt rail this time to my oscilloscope probe and to this unknown inductor. I added screw terminals to make this process easier. So now as soon as I turn the power supply on you should be able to see something on the scope. 3, 2, 1. And there you go. Something does appear on the scope. Now if we zoom out a little we'll be able to see that the signal isn't really perfect and it appears only a few times. Like I said the sampling frequency was uh, around 150 hertz. So if you zoom in you'll notice the square wave that we predicted over here which has a specific frequency in a 50% duty cycle. I'll be measuring that right now using some cursors. So auto and frequency. So wait for the camera to focus. Oh, for God's sake. Yes. So the frequency... Ah, so the frequency is 156 kilohertz exactly, if you can see that. So let's note that down somewhere. Let the camera focus again. Yes. 56 kilohertz. Now let's put that into this formula. So that becomes 1 divided by 
4 pi square into 56 oops k 56 kilohertz square into 1 microfarad and that should give us exactly around 8 micro -henries. So using this formula we can see that this inductor is 8 micro -henries. and this works for practically almost all types of inductors that I've tested. The values are quite close but the only disadvantage is the contact needs to be perfect at this place or else you won't get a proper reading. Let's try this with another inductor. So now I have this little transformer core with around 10 turns on it set up. This will be the basis of my flyback converter. So now let's measure its inductance. Oh, this is going to take a little trigger magic to get going. Yes, almost. Okay, not very. Mm, yeah, perfect. Almost perfect. Now let's measure the frequency. little more trigger magic oh, come on trigger all right it says 59.5 kilohertz so I've already written that down now let's put it through the calculator same formula 1 divided by 4 pi square into 59.5 kilohertz square times 1 microfarad which should give us around 7 micro -hendries, which is perfectly reasonable and tallies with all the other measurements I have made for this inductor so this meter really works a very useful little device for anybody who is into this sort of thing so that's all for today